you know, I was just asking myself, because like I say, I'm on, on trial. So I asked myself, like, what, you know, like, you saw your enemy. Because, okay, like, when I was 25, the post office fired me. So I saw my life crash. Right. But I used the Civil Rights Act of 1964 because I went and you and filed the EEOC against the United States Postal Service. That was the first legal move that I made to stabilize my economy. But I had already my wife and I had already owned our home. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I had to save our uh, life when I was 25 and my daughter was uh, five. See, it was in 1994. No, she wasn't five because she her birthday in November and that happened in August. So she was four. She was about to be five. You see what I'm saying? So I got caught up when I was 25 and see my friends, see when it was, they gave me money, right? See, my friend, one of my best friend, the one that's hurting me now, <laughs> but see in the first, in the beginning and my cousin, the one that's hurting me now, see what I'm saying? See, they saw it when we were younger, but they, they didn't understand how I got my job back. See, see, because I don't talk about me. See, so when I was, um, you know, when I when when this happened the first time, I just made the necessary legal moves, but they let me come back to work for them. See, that's why this time I'm hitting with the Emancipation Proclamation from the last time. See, I'm telling y'all, this is this the second time that the post office fired me. So I'm saying, well, okay, if you find a visionary the first time and he used the law, why would you try him again unless you sick, right? Think about it now. I came back, worked for them to take care of my family, and they kept trying to fire me. And I kept putting EEOs in on them. So who is the, who is the racist? You tracking me and I'm tracking you because you building up a record against me and I'm building up one against you because I, I got you in employee court right now. Who is the rich man? I was building my riches, but I was always consulting the law. So that's what I'm telling you all. I'm saying, well, look at my life. The word is with me because I have always consulted the legal word. Just like you all who say you read the Bible to show yourselves approved. See, what you have done is you have chosen sides in a written story. See, now that's why Jesus was telling you for whom choosing sides that, that the blind leading the blind will lead you both into a ditch. See, it, but what in my story, it has led you in the judgment. See, so what I'm saying to you is, okay, say if Jesus was me, then Pastor Willis C. Barnes would be the high priest Caiaphas, right? Because I went, after I beat Pontius Pilate, which would be the uh, the judges in the judgment hall, which is now, see, okay, if the judgment hall is now, it's the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida. See, so if then is now, then the judgment hall is now, the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle of district of Florida. So now that means that the temple is now Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida. See, how can you have one without the other? See what I'm saying? So, so if see this is what I'm saying. So Jesus was saying that through Pastor Willis E. Barnes, 
the religion that said that it reads the Bible to show itself approved has now been separated from goats and sheep. Because I'm in court calling my people by summons and they are giving y'all their opinion of a story. And you are paying them for a mission that they call the tithe that Jesus himself said is Caesar's. So if you giving money as a, as a tithe, then that's why you're not giving God an offering. And that's why you suffering in the condition that you creating. See, that's why I say you reap what you sow. So if you give money, what is the return on the money on your investment? The sermon that this man giving you. So see, he working or she working for your money because they entertaining you. So you paying them. Now, what are you getting other than entertainment? But you done took that into your life and now you reaping what you sold. You stay in the projects. You living in war zones because you have yet to stand up to you. See, everybody now got to carry their own cross. 